Hello, what's up, everybody? In a recent, like, um, apparently there's a video of, um, um, Raini Rodriguez, um, talks about Can Cretaceous Season 4 of Netflix. So, I'm just gonna play it to you all because I think it's interesting. I think it's, like, posted one hour ago. I just think it's interesting. And just kind of interested. That's new. Jurassic World Cramp Cretaceous follows a group of teens attending an adventure camp on the opposite side of Isla Nublar as they must band together to survive when dinosaurs wreak havoc on the island. The animated series is now gearing up for season four as the campers escape and are now in grave danger following a shipwreck on a mysterious new island. The new show installment, which <coughs> premieres tomorrow on Netflix, has the teens facing even more sinister threats than just those dinosaurs. Yeah, joining us live now on Skype, it is Rainy Rodriguez. She is the voice behind one of those campers yeah. named Sammy. Hello, Rainy. Hello. Hey, I understand you're not just the star of this Netflix series. You're also a big fan, right, of the yeah, Jurassic World about franchise. Season four. Oh, I'm a huge fan. And it's kind of funny because growing up, I was very well aware of Jurassic and what it all was. I was born in the same year the first Jurassic Park movie actually came out. Um, oh, and then it wasn't until the new Jurassic really World cool. franchise came out in 2015 that I became absolutely obsessed. So then fast forward like four years later and I get this audition for Camp Cretaceous and I, and I literally sent an email to my team and I said, if I book this, this would be amazing to be a part of this universe. I will freak out. And sure enough, I got it and I've been freaking out ever since. <laughs> All right, let's talk about your character, Sammy. Uh, how would yes. you describe her, and are there any similarities or differences between the character Sammy and, and you? Well, for sure. So Sammy is enthusiastic. She's loud. She's fun. She's all about family, and she's a big Texas gal, which I'm actually doing this interview from my hometown in Texas, Bryan, Texas. Woo -woo. Um, so I'm actually from Texas, too. I have a big family, just like Sammy does. Um, but the biggest thing about her is when she's at Camp She's all about making everyone friends and having everybody become a family. Her thing is camp fam for life, and that's how she sees it. And four seasons in, she's still all about the togetherness and, and the campers working together to get off the island, get back to their families, you know, be together as one, because she knows that if they're together as one, they can do anything. And last season, we saw a lot of emotion come out of Sammy. She actually almost didn't even make it. So to be here for season four for her, she's even more fiercely protective of her friends and even more willing to go above and beyond for everyone. And the dinosaurs included. Sammy survives, huh? So how do you get ready? How do you prepare yourself to become Sammy? Is the voice much different than Rainy's voice? So uh, the the energy is the same, for sure. I, I definitely talk like Sammy. But the accent is a little bit heavier than what I normally have. So when I get to talk like Sammy, I get to talk like this and put a little bit more of an accent on it. And she's like, oh, I love the dinos and everything about my camp fam. And I love Isla Nublar and Jurassic World and everything is just so fun. So getting to do a little bit of an accent is really great. I get I to turn it. a lot of my y'alls and fixes, the all the stuff that I get to say back home in Texas is what I get to say on the show. And I love that so much. But you do got to prepare for the cardio. Yes, you're in a booth, but they do a lot of running in the show. It's a lot of heavy breathing that you got to you got to uh, prepare for, for sure. Yeah, because it is that type of show, uh, do you actually work much with the rest of the cast? Okay, so in season one, we were lucky enough to get to record in person, um, and then the pandemic happened, and we actually had to go all online. So we did a lot of Zoom sessions with each other for the seasons, the previous seasons. Uh, we've been very lucky to get to record together. But then what happens is, because there's six of us, and we all get along so well, then it's trying to, you know, get us all to concentrate and, like, work. So when somebody's recording a line or recording a scene that a couple of us aren't in, then we'll be, like, on Zoom or, like, on Skype, just, like, messaging each other, making each other laugh, changing our names on the screen to, like, everyone has one. So, like, everyone at one point was Rainy Rodriguez, and then we, like, cut off our camera so that no one knows That's who's hilarious. the real Rainy Rodriguez. Uh, so we like to have a lot of fun, for sure, when we're recording. 
All right, so you're having fun, but I understand this new season has a lot of scares and surprises. Can you yes. give the viewers any hints on that? Definitely a lot of surprises this season. The past three seasons, the fans have always been one step ahead of us because they got to already get introduced to our world um, in the timeline of the first Jurassic World movie. Now in season four, thanks to the Mosasaurus, we're now shipwrecked on an uncharted island. And not only are we surrounded by dinosaurs, we're surrounded by robot dogs, saber-toothed tigers, and many other different creatures and sinister forces that we didn't even know existed. So to be in this new world and essentially watch these kids go through it for the first time is so cool. I mean, just as a fan of the series, like just to be able to watch all the little Easter eggs they've put in, all the, the, the new creations they've made, all the new artwork that they've added. I mean, just, it is just crazy. I mean, there's drones and all, I mean, there's so much going on in this season that I just tell everyone, like, just pay attention to every episode and just soak it all in. Don't try to figure out anything because I guarantee you, you will not see what's coming next. So what's it been like to see the response uh, from viewers? I mean, it, it's an animated series and it's been a hit. Thank you for saying that. Um, it's been awesome to be in a, an amazing franchise like Jurassic World and have diehard fans from the 90s to today. You know, it's always a little hesitant to say, hi, we're an animated show, which some people first are like, oh, it's a kid's show. And I tell people, oh, no, no, no. We are for all ages, all types of fan of Jurassic, whether you're a hardcore fan from the first movie, Jurassic Park, to if you just got introduced to just to our show, you know, we are for everybody. And we have so many different things put in for all types of fans. Um, it, it's been surreal to be welcomed in. The Jurassic family has really just opened their arms to us. They seem to respond really well to the show. I think the creative team behind it has done so much to put in all the, the great things that every Jurassic fan wants to see, which is dinosaurs, characters that you immediately fall in love with, some characters that you totally hate, and you're just so excited when they finally, you know, get crushed by a dinosaur. Um, I think they, we have great storylines. The artwork is beautiful. I just feel like everything that our creative team have put together, plus the voice actors that we've sort of um, gotten to jump on board, and then the fans, like, it's just a perfect partnership. So I'm really, really, really blessed to be a part of the show. Rainy, we feel your excitement. Hey, congrats <laughs> on season four. Thanks Thank for joining us. Thank you so us. much. Yeah, thanks. Thank you guys so much. All right, thanks for joining us. You can watch Rainy Rodriguez in season four of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, which premieres tomorrow on Netflix. You can also follow Rainy on social media. She's fun. Yeah. Uh, I like her. I don't know. I think she needs to pick her energy up. <laughs> She's fantastic. Oh, so bubbly. And what a beautiful smile. Yeah. I like her a lot. That's she knows great. how to sell. She did. She <laughs> did a great job. I'm hooked. I'm going to go watch. That's for sure. What a great. Well, that was it. It was really good interview from the character who played Sammy and Kent Cretaceous. So... I mean, that's right in the video. So I show you what she had to say about the season. Honestly, knowing there's going to be big, like, twists in the scene, like, she said you, you can't even predict what's going to happen in the season, which I'm excited for. Because I kind of felt like, so if people, like, speculate, if it was easy to sort out for season four, it would be too obvious, but... Now knowing that there's going to be twists and turns you don't even know in season four, you can't even speculate even if you tried. Just gets me more excited for season four. Anyway, why do you all fan this interview? Um, if, um, you know, um, you might leave a like and peace out. Bye.